Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my creative time with Emma. And also welcome to day three of our sneaky peeks for our, um, what is this, for our February um, stamp release. I, today is an extra special one because I love, love this one that we are showcasing today. They are, we are all showcasing two brand new products. One is called Stitched Chunky Jar Dies. And the next one is called Chunky Jar Accessories, which includes more dies as well. There are, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten dies included with the Chunky Jar Accessories, okay? Super, super excited about this one. Um, I've been wanting to do this one for a long time, but I wanted to make sure I kind of switched mine up a bit because yes, there is a million jars out there and it seems like everybody kind of went with the traditional ones and I kind of went with the non-traditional ones. So I can't wait to show you. So let's go ahead. I'm going to show you what I use today. I use the Notable My Mind's Eye, which um, Liz's Paper Loft Boutique has. I'm not sure if she still has it or not, but you could definitely check it out. Really pretty, again, vibrant colors on this one. I use that one for one of my projects. For another one of my, actually, you know what? I use that notable one. I use that for two of my projects because I made three items today. And then for my third item, I use this one as well. And I believe um, Miss Liz's Paper Lot Boutique will be carrying this as well. Um, this one is the uh, newest Teresa Collins called Far and Away. A really pretty one for just for if someone's away from you, a pretty one to use to make them a card with. Or if they're going on vacation, you know, who knows? Do they travel a lot? Whatever. Okay, whatever you want to make it for. And then um, for one of my projects, I use this die set. This one is called Here's Looking at You. And then I use the Sentiment um, Daddy on that one. And then I used... Um, one of my, um, this is an older set as well, more gift card sentiments. And basically this, uh, all of these sentiments, they actually coordinate with my gift card holder die. And the one I'm using today is en Enjoy a Cup of Coffee on Me. How perfect is that? Um, and then I'm using my, am I using this? Oh, no, no, I'm not using that. <laughs> I am so sorry. I'm actually using something else. Let me grab it. Actually, I did use this. I'm so confused. I did use this. This is my 3x3 fancy envelope die. And I use this for one of my um, cards today. And this is what it looks like in the back. That's the actual die. And then, this is the one I use. I just don't, I don't have the packaging for it in front of me. This is my gift card um, die. So, and this is the one that coordinates with those gift card sentiments. So I have two sentiments that go with this die, just regular gift card sentiments and then the more gift card sentiments. Okay, everybody, are you ready? I don't know what to show you first. I'm so excited about this, okay? You know, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one first. I think this one's so cute. And I wanted to show you, somebody had a question, what should they use with the fancy envelope die? Um, by the way, I just got these back in stock and you guys totally, completely, almost wiped me out already. So just an FYI, if you do go to my store and there is, if they're all gone again, I will be getting some more in on the 26th. Okay. So just a heads up on that. All right. So anyway, somebody asked me what is the best, um, paper to use. You could use anything. I suggest not using a heavy card stock okay because it's just an envelope um i would just sometimes i just use copy paper it depends you know and it's just regular your regular white copy paper that you put through your printer um a nice pattern paper but not so thick um but it's really up to you but i prefer a lighter grade of paper for the envelopes okay so I wanted to show you what I'm going to do before I close this up here this is a different way um, how to close up these envelopes instead of gluing it down or putting a sticker down like I've done on the past um, as you can see I made a beautiful little liner for it 
Okay, are you ready for the unveiling? I'm so excited. Okay, here it goes right here. Now, I'm not sure if you can see this very well, but it is a clear card stock. Is it this super duper cute? I love it. I cannot wait to show this to you. I'm trying to make this as my background so it won't be so black with this on the, um, in the background. So anyways, basically everything you see on here is brand new. I did not mix it with anything this time, okay? Like the little, here goes the little buttons. I just used some silver paper that was actually sent to me by one of my sweet design team members. Thank you so much, Miss Kimmy. Um, so anyway, she actually sent me this really pretty silver paper, so I thought it was perfect to put the little buttons on here. Um, and then here, isn't this super duper cute? Those are little scissors that go with the chunky jar accessories, okay? And basically, this is your jar right here. How cute is that? And it fits perfectly into a 3x3 three three envelope. So you can just make a quick note. Um, so basically, there's there's the lid for it. The little, I'm not sure if this is called, like the, almost like the little material that goes with it. And then the jar, and it all has stitching. And it comes with a special, it also, the jar accessories comes with these cute little coordinating tags that I designed to go specifically for this jar. And the little sentiment for this is, I'm crafty and you know it. So cute. And then when you open it up, it says, for you. That for you is also included with that set. And I figured you could do this, and then you could just go ahead and write down, obviously, you just put from or whoever you are, you know, your name. Um, so what I did was I folded up a clear piece of cardstock, ran it through my Vagabond, and it did not cut through both of them. So... Um, what I had to do is I just kind of had to just cut out the rest with scissors. But if you could see, so you can't see it very well, but it is folded, okay? And what I did was I just cut out all of the accessories for it. So if you could see the way I did it, I did this layer, then I did this layer. But what I do is I cut out another lid. The second lid I put right behind it so you could cover up the little um, the hemp twine right there so you don't see it. Um, but anyways, that's about it. Isn't this so stinking adorable? Let me give you a quick size on this really fast. When it's all put together, this cutie patootie little jar. Oh, you know what I forgot to use with these? I just remembered. These come with little handles. I'm going to show you actually the dies in a minute. So anyways, this one is about two. When you put it all together, it's two and a half inches. So when you piece these together, don't stress out where it doesn't match. You kind of have to put these parts, lift them up a little bit higher. And when you get them in your hand, you'll know what I'm talking about when you, it's time to put them together, okay? So anyways, that is one right there. Um, and then, you know what, I might as well show you the one with the handle really quick. Now this was just something I was playing with, okay? So ignore the ugly paper that I used for it. I was just playing with this. So anyways, these jars, let me find something I can use this against. These jars come with the cutie patootie little handle. Isn't that adorable? So anyways, that's what it looks like if you were to use the little handle that goes with it. Um, I just remembered I didn't use it. I don't know what I was thinking. But anyways, you'll see it in a lot of my design team's projects today. But this is basically what it looks like if you were just to do it with a non-clear cardstock. Just like so, super cute, and I love the way this came out, okay? So anyways, so we are, I'm gonna show you really quick how to close up this envelope, but isn't this the cutest little, the cutest little note you could give to somebody? I just love the way this came out. So anyways, you see how it fits beautifully in there? And then what you wanna do, if you're not, if you don't wanna, you know, tape it down or glue it down, and obviously these cannot go through the mail, so just so you'll know, okay? These are brads, okay? Now, I suggest you putting this brad on, like, before you glue this, <laughs> because I did it, and I almost made a hole through the side. So what you want to do, you could just go ahead and just, like, you know, just go like so. Okay, and then just go ahead and just tie a quick little bow at the top here. There you go, and then just give this little guy a trimmy trim. There you go. And then a simple little 
a cute little simple envelope, um, a little cute little closure to close your little envelope, okay? So anyways, that is one of the projects today. Um, the second one is so precious, I love it. Somebody asked me yesterday, so I'm gonna go ahead and answer it really quick here, okay? Somebody asked me, where did I get these? I got these from Stampin' Up a long time ago, but they are asked, like these are from Stampin' Up. I don't, you could get them like at Hobby Lobby or something like that, but these little guys here, I picked these up at Hobby Lobby, okay? Just an FYI for someone who was asking. I just didn't get a chance to answer you back in on the comment section, so I apologize for that. So anyways, these are like little library clips, and if you Google them, you could find them, but I believe you could find them. I believe I got mine from Joann's, okay? So anyways, isn't this so cute? This is the second jar. You see how pretty they are, how it's a little, a little, so I call them the chunky jar, okay? Because this one was kind of like a little square, short, chubby one. And then this one here is the tall one, but it has has a little figure to it. <laughs> it's so cute. I love it. So anyways, here it goes. I used my little stitched buttons for this one. And then this is another little cute little princess. It could be a king crown or a princess crown, okay? So what I did was I used, um, here goes that, the the little tags that were specially designed for the jars as well as some other set of tags their little layering tags that are also designed to go with these jars how cool is that and here goes that little material i hope this isn't throwing you off here on the side um i hope i didn't make it too busy for you so you could see it but if i go like this you could go ahead and see it a little bit better you see how the jar goes I'm just trying to cover up all that busyness on the side for you. I didn't realize I'm now that I'm looking at through the lens of my camera. It's a little busy on that side. I'm, I hope I'm not throwing you off there. So anyways, as you can see, you can see the little stitching here on my jar. Um, and then I just said, uh, now this here, oh, you know what I forgot to tell you? I forgot to tell you, I use my teeny tag greetings for that. So it says, Daddy, and then from your princess. And then on the inside, and then again, the little crown is from the Chunky Jar accessories, uh, well, as well as the, all the little matching tags. Then the inside, it says, Miss You. Okay, isn't that super duper cute? So, somebody for, you know, who went, who's away on um, um, deployment or, you know, out on seas or however, or if they're, you know, just gone on a business trip, this will be something really cute to send. Isn't that super cute? I love, love this one. Okay, now, that's my second project. And then my, actually, I want to put this back on. Isn't this so cute? This, you could fit this into a regular A-size um, envelope if you want. This one will fit it because it's like four and a quarter by, um, let me measure it right now for you. Yeah, it's four and a quarter by two and three quarters across. And you could go ahead and just throw that into a regular A2 size envelope, okay? So anyways, that's my second project. And now for my third project, my third and final cute project. Okay, here goes that little gift card holder. This is Enjoy a Cup of Coffee on Me. I kind of chose the plain paper for this because I wanted everybody to focus on the jar. Okay, I thought the jar looked super cute on this one. I used the clear cardstock again. Um, and then what I did was I hot glue gun some real, I had to smell them again because they smell so good, some real coffee beans in there. Isn't that cute? Then I went ahead and just took two of the little hearts, the little stitched heart buttons, put them there. And what I did was I put my adhesive underneath the button so you can't really see it anywhere around. And I also put it under the lid part. Now I didn't use the lid die this time. I only used that portion of it right there, okay? And then here goes that little tag again. And then that friends sentiment is also included in the chunky jar accessories. How cute is that? And then that's from my from last year, my um, gift card sentiments, enjoy a cup of coffee on me. And then when you open it, you will see, oopsie, hold on. Put it on this side, I forgot to tuck it in. Um. You will see it right here. See, that's where the little gift card pops into, just like so. Okay, and let me go ahead and just close this up. And the cool part about it, there's no gluing, no gluing or anything, no adhesive you, that you need for this gift card holder. But isn't this super duper cute? Now, for that material portion that I had used, I cut out 
with the that die is this here. It's actually ribbon, brand new ribbon from Liz's Paper Loft Boutique, which is really pretty. Okay, I'm actually going to show you these dies because you're going to see them anyway, and I wanted to show you ahead of time because this is a bigger set of dies, and I wanted to show you how they come. Okay. So basically these come on a little metal, oops, wrong item, this doesn't go, this goes with my jar accessories over here. Um, so anyways, this basically comes like this, okay, there goes your little stitched chunky jars right here, okay, so you see how they have the stitching part, and um, let me put that there, these are the handle, oh, it looks like I have one in here. I do. Let me grab my little piercer here. Okay, this is the little handle that actually goes on top of the jars, okay? So this one has a little bit bigger lid, all right? And um, this one has a thinner lid, like so. Okay, so basically this one will go with that one. So this is the handle. So this is the way it comes out of here. Okay, so you can, I'm pretty sure you can find a use for the middle part there. Okay, and then here goes that cutie little, oops, the little material part right here. That's the material part that we cut out. Now, just so you know, an FYI, okay, this goes on here perfectly where you can put the little lid on top. All right, now for this guy, let me move these so you can see what I'm talking about. For this guy, it does stick out a little bit more, okay? So if you want to, I would just use this by itself without this lid because the lid will not work with that. The lid works with this, just if you want to use that jar by itself. You see how that one's a little, it's skinnier at the top and this one's thicker at the bottom. Does that make sense? Like almost looks like a little mayonnaise jar. So anyway, so I just wanted to show you that really quick. So if you take these home, if you do get them and you order them, don't freak out that they don't work. I promise you they work. Like this one, just use it just by itself or just with the lid alone. But if you do want to use it with the tall one, what I did, which I did right here, this is the tall one. What I did was I put the lid on top and there was some excess right there sticking out. What I did was I just grabbed my scissors and I trimmed it. You know what I'm saying? It's yours. You could do whatever you want with it. Okay. So anyways, these are our fabulous, fabulous stitched chunky jar dies. Comes with the two jars, two handles, two coordinating handles, two coordinating, coordinating little covers, and then the cute little piece of material. Now this, those are the only ones that are going to come with magnets out of all the dies in this release. Okay, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this sneaky peek as much as I did. I loved, loved, I totally enjoyed doing this. And don't forget to visit all of my design team because they have some fantastic, I should say phenomenal um, sneak peeks for you, like they always do. But they made these the adorable this little jar jar little um, projects for you today. Okay, everybody. So anyway, so here goes another little quick look at all of my goodies I made. Again, I hope you enjoyed our sneak peeks. And don't forget everything, it will be available for purchase Friday morning at 8 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. So we have one more day of sneak peeks, okay, tomorrow. Um, so you might want to tune in for that one. We have a surprise for you. Um, and then also, what else? Visit my design team. Did I say that already? Yeah, visit their blog, see what they did. And also don't forget to do your, your comments. We've had several awesome, amazing comments. So thank you so much, everybody, for your kind words. Um, they are greatly appreciated. You have no idea. It's just nice to know that, that all of my hard work pays off, that you, all of you appreciate it just as much as we do. So thank you so much for that. Um, so anyways, so just go ahead and spread the word like you've been doing on Facebook and all that good stuff. So don't forget, I don't have the winners with me right here. So if you want to, you might want to check into my blog tomorrow. And my dog, my blog is www.creativetimeforme.com to see if you were one of the lucky winners from yesterday. Okay. So anyways, have a fabulous, fabulous day, everybody. And I will see you back here tomorrow. Same time, same place. Bye-bye. <laughs>